Welcome back learners. Today's lesson is about ribosome. We will study the structure, function, its composition and its location in this lesson. Ribosome word is made up of two words, ribo and some. Here the ribo word stands for ribonucleic acid which in short is known as RNA. While the word some comes from the Greek word soma which means body. In other words, ribosome is actually a body consist of RNA or ribonucleic acid. Ribosome was first discovered in 1955 by Pallade. It is a granular structure which is present inside the cytoplasm of a cell. For example, here we have a cell and nucleus. If you remember my previous lesson, I told you that in the cytoplasm, we can find some small dot-like structures. These small dot-likes, which are like small grains structure, is, is, it is known as ribosome. Ribosome is present in both eukaryotic and prokaryotic cells. If you uh, talk about the composition of ribosome, then ribosome is made up of RNA, as we have already said, from the name that it contains RNA along with this it contains proteins the RNA which is present in ribosome it is called as ribosomal RNA similarly the proteins which are present inside the ribosomes is known as ribosomal proteins now the location of ribosomes where the ribosomes are present Ribosomes, as we already discussed, they are present in the cytoplasm and they are just freely floating in the cytoplasm, not attached to any organelle. Along with this, the ribosomes, they are also present attached with rough endoplasmic reticulum. Here, along with the nucleus, we can find this channel-like structure. Ribosomes, they become attached with this structure giving it a rough appearance that is why this endoplasmic reticulum is known as a rough endoplasmic reticulum the ribosomes they are also present in mitochondria and chloroplast where it is performing the function of protein synthesis now the formation of ribosomes how the ribosomes are produced or where the ribosomes they are produced the factory of ribosome is nucleolus in the nucleus, there is a dark structure present or dark place present. That dark place is known as nucleolus. This site is responsible for the production or formation of ribosomes. What will happen? That DNA in the nucleus, it will form ribosomal RNA. What will happen, the DNA present in the nucleus, it will form ribosomal RNA. The ribosomal RNA along with ribosomal proteins, they are combined together or they are assembled inside this structure. After the assembly of ribosomal RNA and protein in the form of ribosome, these ribosomes, they are sent through these nuclear pores to the cytoplasm. Inside the cytoplasm, they may freely float or they may go to endoplasmic reticulum to form rough endoplasmic reticulum. They may also go to mitochondria or to chloroplast. If we talk about the structure of ribosome, the ribosome is made up of two components or two subunits. The one is known as larger subunit. The other one is known as smaller subunit. The name larger and smaller is given to them because of their size. As we already discussed here that 
the ribosomes they are made up of rna and protein ribosomal rna and ribosomal protein each subunit contains ribosomal rna plus ribosomal proteins similarly the smaller unit also consists of this now this smaller unit and this larger unit they are attached with each other by the help of magnesium ions in other word the attachment of smaller subunit with the larger subunit is assisted by the presence of magnesium ions the prokaryotic and eukaryotic ribosomes they are different from each other in term of size the prokaryotic ribosome size is 70s while the eukaryotic ribosome uh, size is 80s here the s word is actually a unit which is used to measure the size of an organelle based on its sedimentation is in ultra centrifugation uh, what is ultra centrifugation is you take one tube and then you put the solution in it and then you spin it when you are spinning it and then after for example 5 minutes or 10 minutes when you stop the spinning the components present inside that liquid they will be settled at different positions for example this is a tube you place the liquid in it and then you spin it you can find one layer you can find second layer you can find third layer these layers here they are actually the sedimentation layers and based on these sedimentation layers uh, we give the size s for example for example this is 80s and this is 70s and this is 60s the prokaryotic ribosome we will find it at this position that's why we said okay the prokaryotic ribosome has a size of 70s and eukaryotic ribosome for example we find it at this position so we said okay the eukaryotic ribosome has a size of 80s for well, how the 80s and 70s size is given to these ribosomes as we said that ribosome is made up of two uh, subunits larger and smaller subunits in the prokaryotic ribosomes the larger unit and the smaller unit they have different size or s in the prokaryote the smaller unit is 30s while the larger unit is 50s so when they combine together they give a size of 70s similarly in eukaryotic ribosomes the larger unit and the smaller unit the larger unit has a size of 60s while the smaller unit has a size of 40s so when they combine together they give the size of 80s s is swedberg unit coming towards the function of ribosomes ribosome is known as the factory of protein factory of protein means that protein is synthesized inside the ribosomes what happened the two different subunits the large subunits and the small subunits they combine with the messenger rna in this picture this red part here it is known as messenger rna how the messenger rna is formed inside the nucleus we have dna this dna it forms messenger rna and this messenger RNA goes out of the nuclear pores into the cytoplasm. The ribosomes present inside the cytoplasm, they will come and attach themselves with the messenger RNA. So 
here the larger unit the smaller units they will combine or attach themselves with the messenger rna now the messenger rna it consists of the information about the protein so the first function of the ribosome is decoding mrna means the information which is present inside the messenger rna it is decoded by the ribosomes they will attach themselves with the messenger rna and then slowly decoding takes place in the form of polypeptides here you can see amino acids they will combine together and then polypeptide it will form what is polypeptide polypeptide is a sequence of amino acids for example i have one amino acid then i have second then i have third and this fourth these amino acids when they are attached with each other in the form of a layer this is known as polypeptide these polypeptide for example two polypeptides they are formed these polypeptides they will then attach with each other or arrange with each other to form the protein so the second function of ribosome is protein formation in other words in a cell if the ribosomes are absent there will be no protein formations or the protein synthesis is only going to take place if the ribosomes are present inside a cell here you can see there is a structure where the messenger rna and a number of um, ribosomes they are attached to it this structure is known as polysome millions of ribosomes they may attach themselves with the messenger rna to form the protein so that was all about the structure and function composition and location of ribosomes i hope that this lesson is clear now if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section and please subscribe to my channel so that you can get more information about biology and its related topics thank you very much